Hey, Wendy Meadley here with Jerry Jacobson at Blue Earth Interactive, and you look so much more relaxed <laughs> now that it's a new day, right? <laughs> <laughs> and today we are talking about photo sharing for civic groups as part of the National Civic Summit. Again, we never know if everybody's watching many of these or one of these. If you're watching every one, you're going to hear us say the same stuff every time that our national tweet up <laughs> is next Wednesday which, you know, Wednesday the 15th of July. Now someone's going to watch this in December and say, next <laughs> Wednesday, not happening. Anyway, uh, and we've got the connection after that. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be helping civic groups amplify their voice. And one of the great ways they can do that is through photo sharing. So we're going to talk a little bit about the photo sharing piece today. And photo sharing is one of our lovely buckets in our social marketing mix. And so um, let's talk about that. and. Okay. Ask me some questions, right. Jerry. I was hoping you'd tell me about what <laughs> Flickr is. Oh, great. I love Flickr is one of my personal favorites, and the great thing about Flickr is that most people don't even use it. Um, so it's not a really busy space. So I'm bending down here, and I'm sure I look funny from the back, but I want to show you something cool about Flickr. Flickr is um, photo sharing. Oh, I'm not far high enough you up just here. Need to go up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Flickr is photo sharing. And uh, much like YouTube with their video sharing, the great thing about sharing collective photos, if you think about um, not sharing personal photos, a lot of people share personal photos, but if you thought of, if you were at a civic event and you everybody took a bunch of photos, wouldn't it be great to share those? Okay. A great way to use Flickr. And in this instance, what we're going to do is um, promote that with our tweet up, so. Okay, so you mentioned that you can put up events pictures, but how else would a civic group use Flickr? Well, um, along with the line of doing it at events, and you know what, this doesn't look very pretty, so let's get rid of this. Um, as an example, you could make a custom group, right, for an event, and you could have everybody contribute and okay. create a new message um, as a possibility or okay. amplify a message. So we, as you can see, we haven't put our little picture here, so we've got this little neutral face, but TweetUp is what we will be using for our event next Wednesday. Okay, great. Um, I heard something about uh, TwitPic, and I actually oh, have no yeah. idea what that is. So Yeah, well, that is our other fun topic when we're talking about photos. And TwitPic, here's my TwitPic site, and um, I act, here's a great example. Here's what you can imagine the look of this is very similar to Twitter. Here's your hashtag, right, with your Civic Summit. And uh, there's actually a photo that we took when we interviewed Mark Ritchie at the Capitol the other day. And you put your own information. And of course, again, like with Twitter, you use your URL um, to point people to who you are. Cool. Yeah. So um, how would a civic group use that, though? Um, a civic group could use this by, again, um, how we'll use it at the National Civic Summit at our tweet up is we will have a, a red carpet or a photo area where people will take photos of themselves at the event and they'll upload okay, that to Twitter because cool. they can log into TwitPic through their Twitter account. Oh, very cool. All righty. Well, this has been Jerry Jacobson and Wendy Meadley here for the National Civic Summit and talking about photo sharing.